Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Degenheim. I've actually done a run of this that I recorded, but the audio was messed up, so I'm redoing this. We're going to do another run. I think this game is pretty interesting. It's a top-down action roguelike, but it's like leans heavily into silliness. Like, to get new talents from Hank the Dank Trainer over here, you don't get to pick what you want. You just click upgrade and you get a random one. I'm out of money, so I can't show you. But they have silly things like the fastest fuck boy sloth talent. It does have a loot system. It's like going to. I only have I got two pieces of gear for my first run. Um, the gameplay feels pretty nice. There's about like 20 characters, supposedly, from what I heard from the email. I have some feelings about the way the gameplay actually is right now. Napoleon born to party is quite the quite the thing. And we're trying to kill Sugar Grandpa right now. And we'll, we do unlock a character if we do. I died on my first run. So, the combat in this game is, like, super smooth, is what I will say. Um, it feels very good. And I like how fast the waves are. I'm going to take Fire Tomato. It gives us a 25% chance to spawn a Fire Tomato. To Meteor. Uh, whenever we hit an enemy. Which is cool. The things I currently don't like again about the game so far have been... There's not a lot of enemy variety. Now, again, this is very early. This is a play test. Um, I think this game, the first time y'all are going to be able to actually play it is the Steam Next Fest in October. So, again, this is a super early look if y'all want to put this on your wish list. But... Um, from like an aesthetic perspective, it's better looking than you expect this type of game. Uh, I'm going to take lightning fast. Your dash now deals your attack powers damage and inflicts a zap. One thing about the game currently, which is why I wouldn't play much of the play test. I wasn't planning on playing anymore if the first video, you know, hadn't first recording hadn't messed up is that um, there doesn't seem to be many abilities in the game currently. Obviously, this is still very early, so I feel like that's something I'm not going to, like, criticize super heavily. Um, but one thing I will say is, you'll probably see as we go, um, zap special attack, sure. You're special, now there's zap. You'll see as we go that, like, there's a electric version of the Meteor Tomato, which feels... I don't know. Uh, I get worried when I see like recolors of some abilities. Like if that counts as abilities, that's not really a good. That's not fun, right? Like having a, a different colored meteor isn't like more content. I'm not opposed to having it in the game. I'm just saying like it's nothing special. I guess I'll take corpse shot too. I, as far as I could tell, you're basically not gonna fill up your bar over the course of this run. But again, the game does have pretty nice feeling controls. The dash and the attacks feel very snappy. Um, the range attack has a lot of kickback to it on this character. There are, like I said, about 20, supposedly 20 characters. I think on the menu screen right now, it looks like there's like 16 unlockable. I don't know if that's actually a case, but you know. Uh, and the character seems to have an ult. So I would assume each character also has an ultimate ability which would lead to some variety. I don't know if gear is separate per character, but I do love games with loot, so that has a lot to show. Oh, there's Strawberry. So we could take Healing Heart are definitely not steroids. I'm gonna take definitely not steroids, um, you know, to give us a little boost. I feel like the music in this is going to get me copyrighted for this video, but that's fine. I'm doing this for you guys, not for the not for the Moonies, as someone might say. I don't know who would say that. It sounds ridiculous. I sound ridiculous in my head saying that. Um, but yeah, so right now, I think it obviously needs a lot, but the pace 
is incredible. I love the pacing of this. Like, each room is super fast. It's very, like... Very Hades, right? Like, even... Maybe fat, Probably faster than Hades, if we're being honest. Until, you know, you start, like, speedrunning Hades. You get really good at it. Um... I should have gotten some healing. These, these um, present things can seem to have healing and these like power ups in them. One thing I currently don't know is there will be buffs that say like plus attack plus armor. I don't know if those things are like permanent. Like chain lightning, I guess. I guess. Again, I think the abilities are currently my weak point on the game. Like, the meteor is cool, but then after the meteor, there's really not a lot. Maybe more unlocks with other characters. I, I, that's possible, but as of right now, I say that's... At least that's a as a first impression thing, which is which is pretty important, I think. But yeah, the dev team reached out, or the community team reached out to me and was like, hey, you want to check out this game um, in October, Steam Next Fest. All right, we'll play Zap Appleora, which is just lightning garlic. It does seem like it has a lot of the, a lot of the content stuff, aside from abilities, already built in. A loot goblin. I think that was a loot goblin. You know, like all these different randomized like tile sets and levels. Plus the characters. Plus it's got like gear and talent system. I think this looks really ugly. This here, like this. UI looks super basic and not great. All right, so then we have Fire Aura. Like I was saying, you know, very samey. But then we get bosses. Um, Jack one here from Tekken. Uh, can suck it. Be over here. This guy's, like, not an easy boss. Especially if you dash into the path of his whirlwind. Typically not something I would advise. There's just not a lot of cooldown between his attacks, and he's dead. Uh, another criticism I had is that, uh, or feedback, I should say, be more proper. Um, bosses should definitely drop something more than just, like, a level up. The same thing you're getting from every other thing. Especially if they're not going to give you a heal. Like, if the boss isn't going to give me a heal, I expect some type of relic or some type of powerful boost or something. Otherwise, it it's kind of a letdown after beating the boss, I think. Look at these clown head things. And this... The mages is what end up killing me in the first round. I think it's going to be what ends up killing me here, too. Makes it hard to get to Sugar Grandpa, which is just like Crack Santa, I think. Um, the game has a sense of humor. I'm not going to say it's the best sense of humor, but some of the things are funny. Uh, I think, oh man, I missed it. Uh, I'll try and go back to it before we end the, the video, but because I just kind of like skipped through it. When you start a run, it says, like, press E to kick ass. And I don't know why, but that specific line I just found hilarious. Everything else has been kind of a miss for me, comedy-wise, but... But press E to kick ass really, really hits. And these upgrades, these, like, 3 to 5% of your attack power, uh, there's no way to check in the run how much that is. So, like, uh... Like, you could check your picked-up abilities here. 
but without knowing like what your attack power is, it's kind of an irrelevant number. So, you know, that's a, I call that like a feel, feel bad moment in the game. But again, this is like a, this is just like a early quick look at just one run that I wanted to show off. Cause I thought after playing, I was like, you know, this is pretty good. And I, you know, I guess I liked it enough that our, let's say I liked it enough, but I think it has enough potential that I was willing to show it off, like do a second recording of it since the first one got botched, um, that it could be really good in the future or, you know, really good is maybe a leap, but it could be really enjoyable for what it is. I think that's kind of how you have to come into this looking at it. Like this is not Hades. You're, you're not getting Hades from this. You're not getting the crazy story and the God tier art. But if you want some silliness and some like lighthearted action gameplay with a lot of unlockable characters, well, maybe a game like this to scratch that itch, especially I don't know what the price point would be. I didn't even ask about it, to be honest, because I, you know, not even not even at the next fest yet. Right. But like if this is, ends up being like one of those $10 games, then I could see it. Are we even going to get to crack grandpa? I feel like we're not unless we get some more healing here. I need a. I really need Strawberry to show up. There is a tutorial where you're introduced to like a lot of the characters, but since I'd already... Since I had already done a run, I'd already passed through that. Burning seems pretty good in this game. I'd say that. Um, okay. Warp shot me. Can I please have the strawberry? Is this a strawberry? I think this is a strawberry. I am going to not take steroids this time. I'm going to heal. 75, not much. Yeah, press E to kick ass. Pretty... Pretty good. I think, I think as a community, having... Having different keys be tied to one meme is would just be great. Like, obviously, press F is just pay respects. I don't really know any others that are like so iconic as that one. I'd be curious if you guys know, like, let me know in the comments if there's any other equivalents to that. But I think, you know, I, it would be cool in general if we just had like several different keys, like Press E to kick ass. Press, you know, whatever. Press what X to assassinate or something. Obviously, that wouldn't be X. <laughs> there are like silly instances from games that would probably be like Skyrim mods or Dark Souls. Like, you know, some type of Dark Souls thing. <laughs> press, press uh press e to give up or something stupid like that the surrender from some like weird games i feel like there's there's potential out there for it okay i'm seeing that the, those buffs are temporary now because i've seen them above my screen above the little ugly ass bar this is this a healing no, i think it's healing for them oh no that's fire area fire i I was pretty sure that some enemies dropped like a little aura, but maybe that was just one of my above. Fire tomato. I mean, I guess so. 17 to 20. Are we doing it? Am I doing it? A big part of it is just like trying to not get hit, right? Because you only get one dash naturally, and it does have a full second cooldown. So if you dash early against some of these guys, you're just up shit creek with no paddle. And it is... Good 
What are you doing over here, buddy? All right, let's take zap attack, I guess. Um, anything in, just seeing if there's any healing in any. Nope, that was attack power. Not the droid I was looking for. Yeah, should not be dashing into combat. That's, that's a big thing. It doesn't help at all. It kind of just kills you. I can't believe that guy hit me. Unbelievable. Stupid. Oh my gosh. Come on. I would like... I would like the fire thing. Um, no more presents. 20 with no HP. Great. All right. Well, 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 look who it is. Why does Sugar Grandpa have that girl in a key? Oh, it's not Sugar Daddy, it's Sugar Grandpa. I get it. Wait. Th you know what? This explains the surfing music. I'm kind of going to have to lame him out, I think. Because I have no HP. I just get hit by the wave. I think I did. Oh my gosh. This is a dangerous fight, especially with no HP. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Oh, fuck, we're dead. Uh, I saw what happened and it was too fast. Statcat.ai, wrecked again. Let's see what we can do about that. Thanks, Statcat.ai. He gave me a, we got a Burby. Um, plus 10 attack. You can also upgrade your stuff. Co-op was unlocked. Wait, this game has co-op? Oh, it's not implemented, but you can have it. That's cool. Okay, so let's let me kind of show you guys. So you have your thing goes another slot. We just got better. Like we got 10 more attack power, which is pretty good. You could upgrade those. You go over here to the talent guy. Upgrade a talent. It's like a roulette. This is super cool. I love this system. It hit flip a coin, which is funny. Um, uh, we got a new one. We got your healing pickup effect is decreased by 1%. I don't like the small percentage ones, but I think it's funnier that you're just like spending Welcome. your money that way. Then Stefan, the bartender here. Uh, it, who did we unlock? Sorry. Defeat Sugar Grandpa. I, it did just say there was a character unlocked, did it not? Let's drink. Or did it say I have to unlock a character in the, in the bar? Your grandpa, enemies, coins, coins, defeat Karen, enemies, unobtainable, unattainable, unattainable. Okay, yeah, there's only so many right now. I guess I didn't get another character yet. There's like all these other places too that I guess have yet to be put in. And then you go back here and it says press E to chapter and i thought it said press e to kick ass but i don't know but anyways yeah that's kind of the game right now i think it's pretty neat like it's gonna stay on my radar uh probably check it out again and like during the steam next fest and see how it's changed hopefully some of the things i mentioned have been improved but overall um i'm hopeful let's say that but anyways thanks for watching hope you liked the video if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe all that youtube stuff and i'll see you guys next time jeff out bye